Hi Libras, welcome to your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you don't know your placements in your chart, then I highly recommend getting a natal birth chart so that way you can get the bigger picture. You are more than just your sun sign, Shug. All right, so the song that came to my mind when I was shuffling, it's just totally random, is that anything you can do, I can do better. I can do better. Um, whatever better than you <laughs> so it's like i know you guys have like a new career a new job something like that so it's just like time to step it up and i feel like you're kind of like showcasing who you really are and i love it love that energy so here we go ace of cups that's what's up nine of pentacles we have the seven of wands the five of cups we have the sun and the knight of pentacles bottom of the deck and the overall energy is the hanged man all right so libras i definitely feel like you're coming out of this funky pickle okay why i say funky pickle is we have a five of cups on the way top and that's the thing that caught my eye the most so the reason why you're in this like if things aren't moving forward is because you're needing to look at something differently okay what does that mean becky all right so say for instance libra that you've had an experience before and this experience in the past was something like this. So say for instance, um, you had a roommate or family that used to come in and like when you're asleep, all of a sudden just be loud and just a lot of extra, but with a lot of extra drama, okay? Now you're experiencing something on the flip side, but it's kind of like the same, except one thing. Now, say for instance, there's no drama. They're loud. They're loud and having fun. But there's no drama, okay? So needing to look at things, yes, they're going to look the same in some sense. And the reason why they kind of look the same is because you're needing to look at how different you are versus how you were back at that moment when that drama was happening, okay? Um, because I feel like if you don't take a look at it from a different from now in a place of confidence and a place of freedom and a place of independence then what it's essentially doing is going to be stealing your sunshine so if there was a song and i'm you know i was born in the, the early 80s um so uh len steal my sunshine all right so don't allow other people to steal your sunshine. You're starting to feel things growing, all right? Yes or no questions, Libra? The answer is yes, all right? For some of you guys, there may be a blockage. The only reason why that blockage is here is because you're needing to look, to take a closer look at why these coulda, shoulda, wouldas, right? Why are we looking back at the past? Why are we still, you know, being our attention, being focused back at something negative? All right. So we get to choose whether we focus on the positive or the negative. Wanting to understand also finding enlightenment as to why we keep doing this. All right. And you know, they always say, oh, Libras are so wishy-washy. Um, all air signs are wishy-washy and everybody has some kind of air in their chart. Okay. So everybody in a sense is wishy-washy. All right. There are times where we're looking at negative things when really positive things are coming up, showing up. Okay. But what I'm saying is really, really look at what's going on take a step back and realize how you've elevated okay seven of wands can mean blockage but it also means elevation you see these wands are at the bottom this character is looking down and can see what's really going on okay so elevation all right so let's go into these romance angels. I do feel like there's some good news coming in, really positive news, all right? So again, 
what was I saying about that job? If you have a job, uh, a just over broke situation, I feel like something else is going to come in for you. Um, you're going to realize how different your life really is by end of April. Okay. Um, how more, much more confident you are, how much more abundant you are, how much more blessed you are. Okay. So keep that in. Uh, keep them peepers open for that. Okay, so I would do read reversals on the oracles. So first card says this could be the one. This could be the job. This could be the house. This could be the situation that you always wanted to be in. Okay, so that again, positive things. So now we go for the reversals. So this one was passion, but it was reversed all right so when i see this in reverse it means that there was a lackluster there was something that you weren't was not passionate about so now that you're in this nine of pentacles kind of energy with that sun it's asking you to look closely at what it is that you are passionate about all right it doesn't mean like oh you're passionate about um making money okay doing what though what are you passionate about? Are you passionate about having conversations with people? Are you ha passionate about helping others? Are you what are you what what are you passionate about? What makes you smile every time you think of it, every time you do it, every time you just indulge yourself in that moment, okay? The next one is trust, but it did come in the reverse, all right? So there are situations where you're not trusting of yourself or you're not trusting the situation when the universe is asking you to trust yourself. Trust that things will work out. Trust and have faith, okay? Now, for the things that you don't trust, needing to, again, look back and see why you don't trust it. There was something that happened back in the past, all right? So it's kind of like this, right? All of us, we're tired of this COVID thing. We're tired of wearing masks. And a lot of us is like, oh, it's almost over. And then others are, others are like, I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop, Becky. <laughs> I totally get it, right? I totally get it. But let's live in the present, not in the past. Life is a gift. Yeah, yeah. All right, and then we have attraction, but again, it came in the reverse. So, law of attraction, okay? What we think, where we are energetic-wise, is what is bringing, what is brought to us, what is manifested to us. So, if you keep pondering and pondering and pondering, looking at all the negatives, I should have done this, I should have done that, I could have done this, I could have done that, right? Instead of like, you know, well, I have the opportunity now to take action, right so if you're constantly looking back at what was lost then you're just gonna have a lot of reasons a lot more reasons to just focus on the lost but if we can just turn around turn around right um then we can actually see okay what is present okay so bottom of the deck and the overall energy is wedding so this situation may involve marriage now if this is not involving marriage then this is something about a, some type of commitment all right what is the commitment that you want to take what is the commitment that you made to yourself even okay so that is what i have for you thank you so much for tuning in libras and i will see you guys next time around namaste